Hi guys, and welcome back to the Urban Butchery Channel with me, Franco Machelayo. Now on today's show, I've got a lovely little video for you, and that is how to trim a silver side of beef. So, without further ado, bottoms up, heads down, you've got it. Let's crack on. So, here we go guys, the silver side of beef. What a magnificent uh, cut of meat this is. So a little bit of edge maintenance first before we start. If you'd like to learn how to maintain the edge of your knife, look at my other video on the Urban Butchery channel. So we're starting to trim the top part of this, trim off the uh, silver side there. Some people take all this off in one go, but I prefer to break it down uh, as we go along. So I've took the first bit of meat off and now I'm taking the connective fat in between the next piece. Now that little piece underneath there, which I'm just going to take off here, I mean, excellent bit of dice that, it's a beautiful bit of meat. But of course you could use it for lean mince as well if you wished. So we're just taking that off, now we've got a piece of gristle there, so we're just going to take that piece of gristle off, that should go to the uh, left hand side there, for manufacturing a little bit later on. And now I'm looking for blood meat, bone chips, anything like that. So we're just removing this connective tissue now just covering the silver side, and that's why it's called the silver side, as you'll see. As I'm removing that connective tissue, you can see that silver skin underneath there. So we just put that to one side. Of course, we've got the heel muscle in the silver side as well, which we'll deal with in a moment. It's one of my colleagues there handing me a trim bag. Very kind of him. My thanks to Mr. Chris. So some more edge maintenance. Very important to maintain the edge of your knife as much as possible. So now I'm pointing there to that piece of fat there. So I'm just going down the seam in between the heel muscle and what we call the salmon cut, where my left hand is there. And we'll go down the other side as well. Of course, you can leave that fat in there and just take the heel off on its own and then the fat later on. It's just a different way of doing it. But I prefer to do it like this. Doesn't really matter as long as you get the same result in the end. So as you see, I'm really trying my best not to cut into any of the underlying meat there. So there's the heel muscle taken out. And now there's a big piece of gristle just lying in between the salmon cut. You can see me cutting down the side a bit there now. So just take the top part out, that's the thick part. You can go a little bit further down, but this does cook out. As you see there, I'm just pointing to that little bit of gristle on the end there. Now that comes from the end of the H-bone. The technique I use, I break the H-bone at the end there, so that I get access to that. Some more edge maintenance. Nice and gentle. And now I'm just nicking underneath that silver skin now. And here's a little urban butchery hack. Just watch this in a moment. I just pop that little hole in there, stick my finger in there, and then push, just like filleting a fish. Now you will take a little bit of meat with this, but nothing to worry about, you can trim it off after. As I'm gonna do now. See how much comes off this, it's just wafer thin really. And then we're left with a lovely clean silver side. Well, silver side, silver skin, should I say. Just have a quick look over, make sure you're happy, and there you go, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. If you did, then please press the subscribe button. Also, please press the bell icon, and then you'll be notified of future videos. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butcher Channel. Skills for life.